Hello, Assalamu alaikum everybody. Hope everybody's fine, safe and healthy. Um, I'm back with part three as I promised because there is a small new development and this development is regarding the banking office of people. They actually have the gall to send me a comment in an email saying that, or rather asking me, has the bank uh, concerned resolved your issue? I'm like, you people have been telling me to lodge my complaint in a certain format all this time. Do you think I'm mad? Do you think I'm a fool? I mean, who the frack do you think you are? Asking me such a stupid question. And then they close the case again saying that it was my fault because it was my responsibility that I provided them the information. From day one, I have been saying the same freaking thing. I have proof. I have proof that I received at least eight to 10 OTPs, which went unresponded. And I have proof that I received a call from the bank headquarters, from their UAN number. And I have proof that they were privy to my information because I have 10 unattended calls as well to show that I was not listening to them or talking to them or encouraging them in any way. The fact that they had my CNIC number, which is something the bank always seems to want every time you walk in, and one needs to know why. Once the bank takes all your information, they put it on the record. Why do they keep asking us for ID cards for every little thing that we need done whenever we go to a bank? Number one. Number two, they had my card number. Who the freak ever remembers your card number? Do you remember your card number 16 digits worth of it? I don't. They had the full card, my complete card number. Okay. They had access to my most private information regarding my account regarding where I banked. Look, you cannot get information, no matter how good a voice fisher you are or a scammer, you cannot get information that only the bank is privy to. Okay, This information has to be leaked from somewhere. And if you're privy to so much intimate information, it means you are directly or indirectly involved with the bank that the customer is banking with. It's, it's a simple fact. The fact that the bank has been constantly involved in such fraudulent activities is also, and the, is very questionable. I recently met another victim of the same bank and he had the exact same question. How was it that somebody else could walk off with all his money and how is it that the bank is insisting that he was the one who walked off with all that money how is it that the bank is okay with showing him a record of somebody else forging his checks four checks I mean this is that bank which when you sign in front of them they tell you your signature doesn't match and they make you sign at least three more times and I've, I've always actually found it very suspicious that why do they make us sign something three, four times? It means they're using it. They're using our signatures. Otherwise, how else could someone issue a forged check in his name, sign it, and how could they so easily accept that signature? They never accept our signatures, even when we sign in front of them. And yet they so happily and readily accepted signatures and four different checks and let all his money go. He was wiped clean like me. When another victim's money was stolen from the ATM machine, the bank said it was, the bank told that person that somebody from your home may have used the card. That person, because that person was a politician, so that person is a minister, provincial minister. So she went and she got hold of cybercrime and because she is a, uh, a minister, obviously, they had to listen to her, so they actually got off their asses and did some work. And they found the guy 
who stole her money from the ATM. All the way till the end, the bank never apologized. They never once apologized. That shows that the bank is involved directly. The bank is systematically looting its customers and its clients. Fact. Okay? And the other fact is that Bank Imotasib is covering up their shit. The other fact is State Bank of Pakistan is covering up their shit. Okay? Allied Bank has been sued on numerous occasions for the past two years by their clients for causing them heavy losses of money. Not once did banking or this go through with it. Not once. I need to know why. I really need to know why. Okay. As I said, nothing's changed. The only thing that the government has done is after coming into power is They've made things worse. As I said before, we knew everybody was corrupt and everybody was a son of a bitch and nobody was honest. So we always had to look for somebody to get the job done. Okay, We always had to find somebody in the family or amongst friends who had enough clout to get the job done. And this is for legal, honest to God claims. But now the government has made it in such a way that you cannot get it sorted out using somebody's clout and you cannot get things sorted out on your own so you're doubly screwed okay the government what it just did was ensure that the public does not get relief in any way possible that's what they've done and that's what you get when you form a government with the people that you were brought into the government to fight against Ciao. There's going to be a part four, definitely. Bye. Stay safe. Have a nice day.